Welcome back, folks, to Sturge Tropia. Today I got a little, uh, a little something different for you. This is a little guide on how to get the Arcadia Moon hazmat suit. This is me, the first time landing on Arcadia Moon. This is a couple of months ago when I shot this video. There's a lot of video here. Uh, it took me to pare this down into a eight-minute video. Is gonna be. It was tricky, but there was uh, quite a bit. So anyway, uh, this is the deal. When you land here on the Arcadia Moon, you're gonna come straight into this particular teleporter. Uh, you're gonna be right above this dome when you uh, when you land. I'm gonna, I'm making the video so that you could see just directly how to go and get the hazmat suit. There, I screwed around on the planet quite a bit. Jump right back into my spacecraft just for fun. Uh, screwed around on the planet quite a bit. So right when you land, run over to the uh, Alpha t uh, portal. There are only four. Uh, teleports on this particular planet. You're just going to click on the Gamma portal in the bottom left of the teleportation uh, mini-map, and this will bring you to the Gamma station. And from here, you need to run over sort of towards the, uh, the dome, and then off to the left. Past these crates, you'll see a stairwell or some sort of ramp up. This will take you to the... Uh, this the regular facility, I guess, I don't know what you call this, it's a technical facility. And uh, up the far left stairs, you get to the top, turn around, and you'll see Milo. Good old Milo, Chief uh, Engineer Milo, and he's going to give you um, an option here. And actually, if you just say, if you, instead of picking a maintenance plan, uh, you actually just click on, okay, thanks. He will give you the basic... Uh, basic plan, which is just to go through each of the extractors and make sure everything's working. So let's speed it up, and let's get to uh, how that's done. I ran over to the last extractor first, for whatever reason. And here, you just uh, let's go through this, and then click on all, uh, start with the tachyon uh, reactor parameter, and then go down the, the little tree. You're going to do this for, for ten different extractors, and then... Uh, when this is all said and done. And this is going to be the regular pattern for the next 18 days when you're going to go for the hazmat suit. Like I said, this one is just the um, the basic. Let's go run through, get two ped of uh, universal ammo. Like here, I'm just running in. Quick, quick, quick. Get it done. Um, this will get you the two ped of universal. And this is repeatable. So this is a daily repeatable mission. If you need uh, need some ammo, this is a, uh, a nice little treat here on... Uh, planet Arcadia Moon, and uh, I mean, it, it would add up if you did it for 10 days, obviously, you could get uh, 10 or uh, 20 ped and ammo, if you did it for 100 days, you'd have 200 ped and ammo, so on and so forth. Turn this into Milo, like I said, and he's going to, uh, he's going to say, gosh, you're a great guy, do you want to join? No, I don't want to join your little, your crazy group of hat wearers, but uh, <laughs> there you have it, there's your 2 ped and ammo. All right, next up. We are going to go and start to do the maintenance plans. There's a one, a two, a three, a five, and a seven day maintenance plan. I'm starting the one day maintenance plan here. And this is how you get your cute little hat. Uh, you actually uh, go through, see, there it is, the P Tech Protector Headgear. Wow, isn't that amazing? Look at all that majesty. So that's uh, the day one maintenance plan to get the P Tech uh, Protection Headgear. Pretty straightforward. It's day one, easy. Day two, let's start the day two plan. And the day two plan is going to uh, yield the gloves. So again, same sort of routine. You're gonna go through each one of the uh, extractors and run through the little diagnostic log just to make sure there are no errors. Uh, so here you have the, um, the P-Tech hazmat gloves, pretty straightforward. Now the day two, that was the day two plan. This is the day three plan. And uh, we pick day three plan there. And moving on from the day three plan, we're gonna return when that is complete and, get, and turn into Milo. And he is going to give some bootsies. They look like uh, waiters of some sort, uh, like if you're going fishing. Yep, there they are. There's the uh, P-Tech hazmat boots and the gloves. So, and our little hat. So far, so good. Now we're gonna pick the five day maintenance plan. Same thing, you're just gonna keep going through. You know, you gotta do this, uh, this is the grind, baby. This is how you get it done. And uh, then we're gonna finish that up 
uh, after uh, our five days of running. I've cut all that video out for you just to make life easy. Turn this in to good old Milo. And he's going to say, gee, thanks. You got, you're a cool cat. Let's start with the seven-day maintenance plan. All right, now that we've got our seven-day maintenance plan underway, we're going to turn that in. And that gives us the P-Tech Hazmat Suit. Holy cow, look at all the pieces. Here we are. We've got the uh, the protection headgear, the hazmat gloves, the hazmat boots, the hazmat mask, and the P-Tech hazmat suit. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? It's a pretty cool little deal. I'm sure after this video, people will uh, you know, flock to the moon to pick this up, and the uh, markup on a lot of this stuff will go down. It's not, not difficult to get. It's 18 days. It took me 20 because I screwed around and did some other stuff. But that's just the way it goes. Uh, it's a it's a worthy mission. Uh, it's one of many missions you can do. The hazmat suit is needed for another particular mission where you go around and collect meteorite samples. Without it, you die. If you don't have this hazmat suit on when you're flying near these um, these meteorites, it doesn't matter. Even if you're in your spacecraft, you will just simply be ejected, die, and your... Uh, your craft will uh, fall to the planet's surface, or the moon's surface, as it were. Well, there you have it. That is how to get your P-Tech uh, hazmat suit from the Arcadia moon missions. 18 days. That's all it took. I edited this down into 6 minutes and 45 second video. What do you say? So this is Sturge. Uh, thanks for watching. Ciao for now. Yeah.